Hello, I'm Heather. I'm here with Susan. We are part of the youth media team. We are interviewing Jim Mullen. Okay, and we're just going to ask you a few of these questions. Um, the first one is, can you tell us a little bit about Lurgus and what it does? Certainly. Lurgus is uh, what's called a national agency that manages European programs on behalf of the Department of Education and the Department of Children and Youth Affairs. And the program we manage is called Erasmus Plus, which is a European funded program that funds people to do uh, exchanges and to do collaborative projects across the member states and a number of other participating countries. And there are two national agencies in Ireland. One is called the Higher Education Authority, uh, and it looks after uh, exchanges for university level uh, students. Largus, on the other hand, looks after uh, exchanges and collaboration projects for young people uh, in youth and community work, for uh, elderly, uh, older people in adult education, for trainees who are in vocational training, and for young people at school. So we have a very broad uh, group of, uh, of you know, institutions and people that we work with. And what we do is uh, we uh, advertise that there's money available. We encourage people to make applications. We support them to make applications, in fact. And then we manage a process where those applications are independently assessed. And once they've been assessed and they're judged worthy of funding, we give out money. That's, that's the pleasant thing, <laughs> handing out money. Yeah. And then after that, we had to do a whole lot of reporting to the European Commission and to the national authorities, the Department of Education and the Department of uh, Children and Youth Affairs. So that's it. It's kind of a, a cycle of advertising, selecting projects, giving out money, reporting, and we do that. Um, okay, our next question. Um, well, since Erasmus has been um, running for ter at least 30 years, um, and it seems to be very successful, what do you think lies in store for um, lies in store for the program? Well, Erasmus has been going for 30 years, uh, and we've had a whole lot of other programs that were going, and, and in 2014 they were all brought together in one program called Erasmus Plus, which deals with, as I said earlier, higher education, vocational training, etc., etc. Because it's such a new program and it has, uh, it has moved to rely heavily on ICTs and information communication technology as a means of both applying to the program but also managing all the data that the program uh, uh, creates, uh, it needs time to settle down. Uh, and I think the next program, while it may be bigger, will be pretty much what we have already in, in, in the current program. There will be some tweaking. Uh, I think there will be, probably will be more money. Uh, I hope some things will be made easier to do, uh, like for small groups, for, uh, of, uh, for small organizations, that what can be a cumbersome application process can be made more simple. Uh, and shorter. Uh, I'd like to think that there's going to be more focus on, uh, on collaboration projects as well as mobility. Uh, I think there should be more focus on languages uh, and learning languages and probably more focus on, on virtual uh, exchange as well. In other words, relying on ICTs to, to make it possible for people to get together and communicate in the first place and maybe lead on from that to a real project where people physically move or physically collaborate. So those are the sorts of things I think that are likely to come down the line. Okay, excellent. And the last question is, uh, how do you think Erasmus is beneficial towards students? I think of Erasmus uh, an, an international exchange and collaboration as an educational tool. It's a, it's a totally immersive experience for somebody who goes on a mobility or for somebody who is involved in a collaborative project. You experience it with all your senses. You hear, you listen, you, know, you, listen, you see, you touch, you smell if you're, you know, if you're in France or if you're in Spain, you smell the food. You know, it's immersive. So it's a very effective means of, of, of learning. Uh, and, and I think Erasmus just absolutely contributes 
in so many ways to people learning, and, and I don't just mean young people, I mean the, the, the teachers and, and trainers who work with them, because they they often accompany the young people, or else they go on their own training programs, uh, and they learn, they improve their own skills, but they also learn new methodologies, new ways of working, and they can bring that back to their school, their training institution, and add value to the way that institution works, which is kind of an organisation development process as well. So it, it goes it goes beyond the individual experience of, of a young person, or beyond the individual experience of a teacher, and can impact in so many ways. But I think if you were involved in uh, listening to the discussions this morning, uh, I think you know the, the, the panel made it clear just how valuable the experience of being in a different culture, mixing with people from different cultures, having to communicate, having to listen, having to, to share your thinking is just an amazing learning experience. And uh, please God, Erasmus Plus will continue doing that, not only until 2020, but beyond 2020 into the yeah. next program. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. Not at all. I hope.